I think I've been like doom scrolling on TikTok for so long that I feel like none of the none of the content is for me anymore. It's just so dry. I was like, there's no good content out there, so I'm going to make it. I okay. want to see stuff. I want to see cool outfits. I want to see my body type. I want to see like my facial features. I want to see my hair texture. I want to see like stuff that pertains to me, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to so see all that cool stuff. So Hi, my name is Donovan, aka Double Donovan, and welcome to the Nameless Journey podcast. Where we talk about everybody, even the fat hoes, and that's it. <laughs> well, yeah, we'll talk about them too. So, let's go ahead and introduce my guest. Hey, <laughs> hey, y'all. So, this is my friend. She's been on the podcast before. It was a while back. She talked about uh, boy slash girl math. You guys should go check out that video. It was a really interesting video. Um, so, how are you doing today? I'm doing good. I went for a run this morning. Okay. And then got ready and came here. Mm -hmm. It was very nice this morning. It was like really sunny. It huh? was really fresh this morning. This morning around like what time? <sighs> I woke up at like, I woke up at six, I'm not gonna lie. And then took a shower and then went for a run. Got back by like 7.30 and then took another shower and got ready. Just hung out. Okay. You know, you know when you're getting ready and you have like plans and you're already like dressed and it's only like 10 30 in the morning you're just like <laughs> sitting on the edge of your bed mm -hmm. that was me this morning okay <laughs> vibes, Thank you. Vibes. okay so before we jump into any of the questions uh use code dubadano at azva and habits 365 if you want 10 percent off or 15 percent off of your purchase when you use it and also like comment and subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content 92 percent of y'all are watching the video but are not subscribed to the channel we are to we are at 197 subscribers. Thank God for that. I just want to uh, thank God for that for sure because, man, God is the reason why I'm still editing these damn videos. But so, this is my co-host Kylan. You guys already know the dealio. And let's go ahead and jump into some of these questions. I got a couple questions for you specifically, obviously. Uh, so, you have been posting a whole lot on social media, right? What made you want to start getting back into that posting uh, groove? Uh, honestly, I'm just like, it's been so dry on TikTok. I've been posting a lot on TikTok. It's just mm -hmm. been so dry on there. Go check your TikTok out. She's been doing pretty good. I saw that you have, what, like 1.2 million likes now? It's one point. Yeah, something. Yeah, something yeah. like that. Hey, she's been, she's been posting like crazy. Go check yeah. out her content. It's really enjoyable. If you really enjoy like uh, makeup or like fashion, go ahead and check her out. Girly so, pop. Mm -hmm. Girly pop stuff for sure. <laughs> so, um, how was that going for you and what made you want to get back into it's the It's going for you? good. I think I've been like doom scrolling on TikTok for so long that I feel like none of the none of the content is for me anymore. It's just so dry. I was like, there's no good content out there, so I'm going to make it. I okay. want to see stuff. I want to see cool outfits. I want to see my body type. I want to see like my facial features. I want to see my hair texture. I want to see like stuff that pertains to me, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want so to see you, all that cool stuff. It's like a journal for you in a way. It's really is a video journal because I'll, I'll throw something up and just like throw my phone out the window. Uh, like <laughs> <laughs> you said you'll upload a video and just like throw your phone out the window. Yeah, because <laughs> it's uh, I it's it's a video journal because I saw this. I saw this TikTok that uh -huh. was like. He's talking about, dude, I'm like 30 now. And I don't remember what I did when I was 20, 21, 22, 23. And I was thinking about, I'm like, we did so much stuff last year. Like me, Don, and our other friend went to Coachella. I went to Outside Lands. I went to a bunch of music festivals. And I barely remember any of it, which sounds awful. So I don't know. I just want to remember more things. Like I want to be able to look back on stuff. So okay. I'm like, let me just make a video diary and if i just leave it in my phone i'm definitely gonna lose it like you update your phone you get a new phone stuff like that mm -hmm. so when i upload it on tiktok yeah maybe it's my digital footprint i can't get it off but also that's a good thing because i can't get it off so it will always be there to for anyone to look back on okay. specifically yeah. me well that's well, good i i like the fact that you're posting content because i remember when we talked maybe a while back if you remember uh you said that you wanted to be a content creator 
And uh, I just told you, hey, man, just go ahead and post. Just do what you want to do. Uh, it don't matter what people say, comments or anything. You, you just keep posting. So that also leads me to my next question. If you can give any advice to somebody that wants to create content, but is scared to due to the backlash that people give you on uh, through the comments, uh, what strategy would you give them? My strategy? Mm-hmm. Um... Or Just advice. Advice? Mm -hmm. advice if you're strategy. scared, like, oh, I'm not going to get enough views. Oh, no one's going to see it. Maybe that's a good thing. Like, you need a, you need rough trials. I'm not going to lie. Like, you if don't do this, but if you scroll all the way down in my, like, the bottom of my TikTok, it's, it's a bit questionable. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's rough down there. Please, please don't do that. <laughs> it's rough down there, but... It's scroll a little far. Scroll a little far. 2021. Don't hit that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> don't go all the way down there. Don't go, don't go down there. But I, you need the rough drafts. You just need to continuously post and post and like make the content because it's a learning curve. Mm -hmm. Even like with this, doing the podcast and stuff, you learn different things. You learn, you learn about like all the setup and technology and different angles and stuff. It's a big learning curve. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. you just need to you just need to pump it out. Even if it's bad, you're like, I don't want to post this. I I don't really feel it. Just let it go. Even put it on like close friends, you know? Exactly. Just because like obviously my my close friends, these goobers, they support me, they'll like anything, you know. Mm -hmm. Were you scared to like actually post at first? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. How'd you overcome that fear? Um most of the time. <sighs> Because I always tell you guys or any of my friends, like, it's not that deep. I always think of it as like, I want to treat myself how I treat my friends. Because I want the best for my friends. I love my friends. I want them to succeed. I want you guys to be successful. Take care of yourselves. I want you guys to be the best. Like, I want you guys to do so good in life. I'm like, why can't I give that same energy to myself? Mm -hmm. You know? Because, like, you're your biggest hater. Let's be honest. You're in the you're the only one that can look in the mirror and be like, oh, that's weird. This is weird. You can pick yourself apart, bro. That's valid. It's mm. it's crazy. Like, I was like, why don't I treat myself as good as I treat my friends? I want to give that same energy to myself. Mm -hmm. So I started perceiving myself more as my friend. Okay. And that's helped a lot. So that's how you overcome it. Yeah. Okay. So, Kai, do you have any questions? Cause I'll kind of hit it with a little bit of a little speed round. Uh, I got a speed ask. round for you. Okay. So <laughs> we'll, we'll jump into that and then I'll ask some more questions okay. about your social media. So okay. let's go into your speed round real quick. For both of y'all, let's go. Ready? Mm -hmm. MMA or boxing? MMA. M uh, MMA. <laughs> She's done. Like me. She said Eminem. No, she said MMA. <laughs> <My nose. laughs> Ice cream or milkshakes? Ice, Ice cream. cream. Chicken or salmon? Chicken. Chicken. Nike or Adidas? Nike. Nike. Hey, you are quick with it. Travis Scott or Drake? Travis, Travis Scott. Scott. At this point, you kind of copy. Hold on. <laughs> Since we brought up Drake, did y'all yeah, hear about yeah. Drake and his ding dong <laughs> hanging out on Twitter? I didn't see it. I didn't see it either. I don't want to. I didn't but want to. Don't care. Nah, hell no. I Come really didn't want to look it up. <laughs> look, it, it was it was funny to me because immediately I had, I didn't even see it, but I just went on TikTok and people were getting pissed off at him because they're like, "You blessed on everything, and now you blessed down there too." And now you're trying to steal my girl. At this point, he said, yeah, it's either drop an album right now and I'll forgive you. And I was like, that's crazy. You're doing too much, bro. I'll forgive I you. seen it. <laughs> I died. Man. I support I didn't it. Look, I didn't look for it. It just I'm came to me. That. I appreciate it. Okay. Okay. You ain't know the speed round. Coffee or tea? Coffee. Coffee. Why, really? Let me answer first. <laughs> you just taking too long. Just answer. I'll answer first, then you answer next. So what's that? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> he said, let me answer first. Everyone's going to think I'm copying you, that's why. You are. <laughs> I said, Travis Scott, Travis Scott. <laughs> what the? Copy, is he copy? <laughs> okay, Celsius or Red Bull? Celsius. Celsius. Okay, when sleeping, socks or no socks? No socks. People sleep with socks? Right? I do. Yeah? Yeah. Like fuzzy socks? Not fuzzy socks, probably like some thin, thin socks. Um, yeah, because fuzzy socks, it's too warm. Heck yeah, I'd be like, <clears throat> but no socks, no socks, staycation or just like a night out, staycation, staycation, yeah. And that's the end of the speed round. <laughs> There's your speed round, daily speed round. Kind of gonna come with those even more. So, going back to I you, suck at speed rounds. <laughs> We, we should know. have made a speed round for him because he would have been all tied up. I was going to, but then I was like, nah, because we did it on one podcast and bro. I did it so good on that no, one. No, we did not. 
I said chicken nuggets or chicken tender. He's chicken chicken. chicken t- yes. No. Yeah. <laughs> he no. gets caught up. I was just like, yeah, let's not even do that. But <laughs> going back to day. another question about social media, uh, your social media presence um, is pretty big right now that I've seen. Uh, so what audience do you think attracts uh, to your content? Well, on TikTok, you can like, it gives you like updates if you actually like click on the settings. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. It will tell you like all like, like basically like who's watching your video and like what jo- like what age range what what like women or men so mostly my so far who's decided to follow me thank you so much i love you whoever decided to do that is mostly women mm-hmm. and it's between like 18 to 25 year olds okay it's like it's like 95 percent women and five percent men okay that's cool yeah and what side of TikTok do you think you want? Because there's always the comedy side. Because I see that you post some type of like comedy content. <laughs> then you post makeup content, fashion content. So what side do you feel like you want? Or do you think you're just versatile? I think um, wherever it lands, it lands. I don't know what side of TikTok I'm on. My side of TikTok is is basically what I post. It's everything. Like I'll be scrolling. I'll get like a fashion one. I'll be scrolling. I'll get like someone chasing their dog. I'll get someone like, you know, like doing their makeup. <laughs> Someone chasing their dog. Go Jay, get your ass head. home. <laughs> <laughs> just it's super random stuff, and I'm like, okay. But also, I just like post what I like. Like, I want to see a funny video. I want to see an outfit video. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm a. Po- I think it's something funny. I'm gonna post it. Okay. So it's like whatever's on your mind. Yeah. And just post it. Like, why would I put myself in a category if I'm like all those things at once? Mm-hmm. I know a lot of people keep like hundreds of drafts. And what do they say about um, recently with the TikTok audios? Isn't like oh, yeah. a whole bunch of supposed to Universal be Music uh, a lot of took dad. off all of the music because Universal Music and TikTok couldn't come to an agreement. So there's like high end mm-hmm. artists. Like if you see like a SZA audio from her album, it won't be on there um, unless somebody makes it themselves. So SZA, Yeet, Drake, Lil Tecca, all Yay. those people are on Universal Music and they're being kicked off of that because TikTok and Universal Music could have come to an agreement. So if you go on your TikToks and your audio is muted, it's because they removed the song. So yeah. I would go through there, fix the audios because it's not going to be on the For You page mm-hmm. if it's not fixed. I was fixing a lot of audios last yeah. night. Dude, they took all my like Drake audios. Oh yeah, packed up and gone. <laughs> so and what, is, took- what, what do you have to do? Do you just have to... You like, do. if you wanted to make that same sound, you have to remix it in a way or use like Re- a different Yeah, beat because you know it? how people will do like, uh, let's like say. sped up or slow down. Uh, yeah, we'll let's say like a, a gym TikTok, right? Audio with like yeet in the background. Mm-hmm. Then he would have to do that, you know? Makes sense. Mm-hmm. But <clears> other than that, uh, I do want to move on to uh, your presence on Instagram as well. Uh, it's not as big as it is on TikTok, but I do see that you have different styles of clothing that you switch up on, especially back from 2021 to now in 2024. Do you think you have a versatile type of appearance? Um, I think so. Yeah. I would like to perceive it that way, but I think my style is ever evolving for sure. Okay. I, I love to change my outfits all the time. Some days it's like, I want to be dressed like the rock star girlfriend, like slash emo. Some days, some days I want to dress like clean, clean girl aesthetic, whatever that means. Some days I want to dress like a cool hippie fairy girl. Some days a I want- A cool hippie fairy girl. I ain't never seen that That's in my different. Life. <laughs> Sometimes I want to dress Is that like-, like- is that how you feel like you dressed back in 2020 uh, or 2021? I think so. I think that was more my style, more like silver jewelry. Yeah, and like- cause I, I went on your Instagram and I saw that like back then you was wearing like skirts and dresses. You was dressed like, I think it was a fairy for Halloween on like back in 2021. I'll throw the pictures up there, obviously. Um, don't even, don't, <laughs> don't be scared. I already screenshot it though. Oh. So, uh, so uh, when it comes to that, would you would you perceive yourself as a fashion type of person when it comes to Instagram from TikTok? I, I would like to perceive it that way, but yeah. I think like it's always like oh like you see different Instagram accounts and they're doing like way better stuff and it's like it's a little like demotivating or it's like it kind of humbles you a little bit. I'm not gonna lie, like I feel humbled, but it's also like 
who cares? Like, I want to dress like a fairy one day, then I'm going to dress like a fairy, you know? Mm -hmm. Switch it up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Give me some flavor. Like, I would hate to see the same silhouette on a girl's, like, Instagram every single time. Yeah. Like, it's just, like, the small top, big pants, or, like... Like the Pinterest girls. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. No, Pinterest. because you can, find, you can find people on Pinterest that actually dress nice, but you see people that are rocking the same thing every single time. So I know that a lot of people get irritated with that, where it's, like, Samba's baggy pants, tight shirt, or uh, Timberland's baggy pants, and then, like, work jacket. Like, yeah. a lot of people wear that stuff, and people... Uh, be hating on it but if you could tell somebody like me personally i would tell somebody to dress however they want to dress you know because exactly. it don't matter what people say because if you got the funds for it then go ahead and get it if you really want it if you don't have the funds for it then you can go still make thrifting. it happen thrifting thrifting is the best thing to do personally so i would give that type of advice uh mm -hmm. i've been asking you a lot of questions i want to bring it to my co-host too so he's involved in this whole uh <laughs> podcast as well so how would you feel? Uh, how do you feel about your dress and appearance and everything? Do you think you're very versatile when it comes to different clothing? I feel like most of the time I like to be chill. Like y'all see a lot in a lot of the podcasts, like I'm just wearing like chill, chill clothes. You know, I'm not I could dress up really, really good. But then I could also just like be I like baggy, like, you know, sweatpants, a sweater type stuff. Yeah. Uggs. Mm -hmm. I'm just a chill person, but it could switch up if I would like to, you know, like mm -hmm. some nice shoes and nice dress up clothing but because i've seen you dress up pretty clean uh you very clean cut uh, uh just like clean you, cut uh -huh, clean cut you know how to dress <laughs> nice you know yeah uh compared to like you just relaxing and you're like lounge outfit for the podcast you know i love my lounge and so. also he models so if any modeling agency Someone see this go ahead and check him out i'll throw pictures up there so you know what he'd be looking like i took the photos uh but you're really good with that how is that modeling thing going mm. for you though Honestly, it's at a pause right now. I did, there's not really anything going on. I submitted a lot to um, some agencies, but I didn't really hear much back. Um, it's kind of like a waiting game, but also there's a lot of scammers out there, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you got to really watch out like who you submit it to, because most of the time when you submit those actual good pictures, they'll use those pictures on their own website and you're not even getting paid, yeah. you know? Yeah. So you but, haven't given up on it, right? Uh, no, right. I still am going to push forward to that because that's like a really good career I want to get into. Yeah. And it's not like just modeling, like taking pictures for people. I want to be like an actual runway model. Okay. Yeah. It's very fast paced, very busy. Like I watch a lot of YouTube videos and like fitting shows. Do you um, know who uh, Wisdom is on TikTok? No, no. Hey, he's really good with fashion. He, uh, Wait, he, did you tell me that one time? Wisdom, he's a black, uh, he's a black dude. Uh, he wears a lot of chrome heart. Is he really jewelry. the really tall guy? Yeah, he's pretty tall. He also uh, wears a skirt that one time. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I like he, him. He, he really knows how to put He's got clothes on, bro. Uh, he knows how to do his thing for real. Uh, I would check him out. And speaking of fashion, uh, what is a fashion statement that you would do? What's a fashion statement? You know how people, like, when you said uh, pants with a skirt on, that was a fashion statement. Hmm. Uh, what type of fashion statement do you think you would do or pull off? Some people think it's weird. Mm -hmm. Like a long sleeve with with uh, shorts, I could pull that off. Long sleeve with shorts, or even like a sweater with shorts, jorts, jean shorts. I don't think that's uh, I don't think that's bad. I think that's a pretty like clean fit. To some people, it's not like a, it's a not. I wouldn't wear that, you know. Like mm -hmm. I wouldn't wear that because like it's off putting. You're off putting. I know what you're talking about. <laughs> I, I got the reference. <laughs> You're off pudding because you're fat, you know? <laughs> like, you shouldn't eat any more pudding. He's like, yeah, I got it. <laughs> I did want to um, switch up the topic a little bit because mm -hmm. there was this girl I saw on Twitter. Well, it was like a storyline. Like, basically, this 14-year-old girl um, hung her... Yeah. So, the story goes to show that um, <laughs> a 26-year-old taxi driver from the Middle East reported uh, for... 14 year old girl and he was found hung in the nature reserves now do you think that's like i don't think that's a bad thing i'm not even gonna say like do you think that's a bad thing or a good thing i think that guy deserved it a 14 year old girl that's very sad yeah that's crazy as it is mm -hmm. uh also for youtube content we're gonna say grape uh -huh. grape mm -hmm. we said grape um <laughs> yeah so that that's already crazy as it is um 
I didn't hear this story. Was this recently? This was recently, yeah. Hmm. It's kind of sad though, because you know she goes. She probably went through a lot of stuff, but and hey. she was the one that hung him. Mm -hmm. That's hmm. crazy. Yeah, he deserves it though. She Most definitely, that was that's that's wild as it is. First off, like you shouldn't be doing that at all <laughs> to anybody, no matter the age. Uh, but. He did get what he deserved. I ain't gonna lie. That's right. That's mm -hmm. right. He you got any like, comments? He did like Gotham. She did like Gotham Batman stuff. Like <laughs> she did everything we were thinking. I'm not gonna lie. Like she's Batman. You know those memes? It's like the city needs me. That's her. <laughs> <laughs> That's her. Good for her. Um, what was that joke that you used to say? <laughs> what joke? <laughs> what, what do apples and something have in common? Oh, what do, <laughs> we gonna leave that alone. <laughs> That's not for YouTube content. That's for like kick content if I streamed. So That's I want to go back to fashion statements. Did you guys see what Playboy Cardi was wearing? They caught him in a thong, and bro was wearing like two pairs of shorts, and he was sagging one pair. Can I see the thong, and then another pair of shorts was sagging as well. No. Yes, ma'am. It was not a thong. What was it? It was a bodysuit unclipped and it was just like the back of it. Cause I zoomed in. I saw you repost it on TikTok. Mm -hmm. So <laughs> oh, crazy. So I paused I it. Somebody. <laughs> I paused it, screenshot, zoomed in. I'm like, there's no way. Because I had to know. It's a bodysuit. It was just a mesh bodysuit unclipped, hanging dangling out the back. Did it look bad? Yes. But he probably tried on the bodysuit and was like, I like the long sleeve, I like the mesh. But he just didn't He wasn't cut. showing any of the long sleeve though. He didn't cut off the the bodysuit part with the clips. So it did look like a thong, but that's me defending him. You could try to defend him either way. That looked like a thong. <laughs> was it, it, a also thong? The, it looked like it. And the fact that it was tucked in in the back. It wasn't. So that, it wasn't tucked. Okay, it why was it so tight on the back of his butt? I don't know. Exactly. So He's that's what I'm saying. So, so uh, no, no. <laughs> so basically, that thing was either clipped at the bottom, it was hugging his nuts, and Ooh. after that, it was tucked in between his crack. Ooh. So now you see what's happening, bro. <laughs> would you count that as a fashion statement? I don't think you should be showing your thongs or letting it show out like that. But no. I think it was just different because he was sagging two pairs of shorts at the same time too. Layered up. Uh huh. That's why I said okay. They saw him. He got in the car, leaned forward, and then it was like stretched. Like it was underneath. I'll show you. Know, you know, so it was crazy. Huh. <laughs> mm -hmm. huh. Actually, let me just pull it up. Pull me. it like up. You, like you lean over and you see like the two shorts. With the Have thong. you ever seen like a girl in a bodysuit and it's like unclipped? That's what it looked like to me. Like the bodysuit that's like tucked in. Yeah. Like, like snipped in. Yeah, but it was oh. unclipped. So it's. <laughs> It was unclipped. So does that make it a little less like? Does this look unclipped to you? It's unclipped. The the flaps on his butt. Do you see that? You see the buttons? That thing is tucked into. Look his with cheeks. your eyes. Look with your eyes. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Mm. That thing is tucked into Let his cheeks. See. Let me see. The clips. You not see hot. the little buttons? You got. <laughs> It's kind of hot. <laughs> That's what, you know. <laughs> it's unclipped, Dawn. No. Yes, it is. Bro, it's literally Dawn tucked in. Dawn zooming in on guys, but. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, you literally screenshotted it. It's in your phone. <laughs> like, you looking at a dude's butt in a phone. Like, come on now. Let's be, let's keep it 10,000. It's 10, a bodysuit, not a phone. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> so, going There's back to that, but... like I said, do you think that would be a fashion statement? Or consider that a fashion statement. To some people, it probably would be, but I personally would not do that. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. there's a lot of people that dress outlandish in the industry. So I wanted to get your opinion on that. Would you count that as a fashion statement or not? Mm -mm. No. That's not, a, well, not to me. What about you? No, because <laughs> if you're going to wear a bodysuit, wear it all the way. Mm -hmm. And what fashion statement <laughs> oh, would you gosh. do? A fashion yourself? statement that I would mm -hmm. do? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Any fashion statement I want to do, I just wear it. Um, I, I'm really starting to like, like, I want to do, I really do want to get back into skirts. So I pulled out some of my old, like, thrifted skirts and I ordered some more. Mm -hmm. But I also want to do, like, skirts with, like, uh, 
like graphic tees. I feel like there's a lot of like little like dainty tops when you wear skirts, but I want some like oversized graphic tees on skirts, like hella chains and like like the quarter sleeve, kind of like Lil Yachty on the top mm. and then like Fairy Princess on the bottom. Mm -hmm. If that makes sense. You're really good at like tailoring your clothes, right? Yeah, I know how to sew. Okay. I know how to like take in my waist. Or I could like, I've made like whole tops before. I have like a few like, they're not the best, but I like made my own patterns before. Like I had this dress with like the top part, like ties really pretty in the middle. But I just wanted it as a top because the skirt didn't fit my hips. So I just, I just made the top. And I've always been able to make like clothes. My mom bought me a sewing machine for my 18th birthday. So I love tailoring stuff. That's why I feel like thrifting is so like, is perhaps a little easier for me because yeah. even if something doesn't fit me like perfectly, mm -hmm. I can be like, well, I can fix this. One time I bought like a pair of black Levi's, like vintage jeans. They were like a size 42 or something. They were like huge. Yeah. And waist? Yeah, Ooh. they were huge. Ooh. But um, I like, I With chopped the them. these pads. <laughs> No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Freaking Rolly. <wrong. laughs> I, I I butchered those pants. I chopped them up. I took off the pockets, took in the waist. Like I I I chopped them up, and now they fit me really nice, actually, and they mm -hmm. have a really good distressed look to them. Honestly, I love them. That's cool. So all kind of started at 18 when your mom bought you that sewing machine. I used was to it use, before. I used to use her old one. Hers was really old. And it was like really crunchy. That one day you gotta go like that on the floor. <laughs> oh. Cause there's some old ones where you gotta like tweeze it on the floor and like, yeah, yeah. Ooh, be like that. That's the, the 1800 ones. Okay. Not that, but it was really like, it was really rough. It ran like an old rough car and it's, it weighed like a thousand pounds, bro. I would be like, like Damn, trying to carry it. it. Oh. Yeah. Big bag. <laughs> <laughs> I've been trying to carry it places. It's way too heavy. But she got me one for my birthday and it's so nice and light and smooth. And it's like it has all the attachments and I could do my buttons, buttonholes with it and all of that. I love it. Okay. So what age were you like started to get into like sewing and everything what when it came age? to clothing? Mm-hmm. Maybe I'm not saying when you learned it, right but when you started doing your own clothes. When I started doing my own clothes. Mm -hmm. Like what age? Um maybe like I really like figured it out when I was probably like 16, 17. 16, 17. Okay. When I really like, cause like pants never fit me right. I've always wanted like baggy pants. Mm -hmm. Like for the longest time, I only wear skinny jeans cause like baggier pants never fit me cause my measurements are kind of crazy. Yeah. So I would always like buy like, like oversized pants and they just never fit me in the waist. So I'm like, I'm sick of this. Let me figure <laughs> out how to fix this damn waist because yeah. I want to wear baggy pants too. Yeah. Even if I'm like a little like more built on the bottom half, I want to wear I want to wear baggy pants. Yeah, let me in. I want to be a part of this. <laughs> <laughs> so I finally figured it out. Oh. Best decision I ever made teaching myself how to do that. Really though, because like you said, when you go thrifting, it's the easiest thing. Like oh, yeah. I don't like how that looks, but I'll tailor. It, you yeah, know? Okay. it so opens up a lot of options. I do know that you wanted to talk about a little something. You <gasps> showed me your notes, so I'm gonna give is, you the opportunity to go ahead and talk about that. Is this my turn. Uh, this is. Uh, the Moonbeam Pop School segment, and she's gonna talk a little bit of stuff that she has in her notes. I verified it, so it is good. So, guys, look at my close notes. your ears, put your earbuds in, get some hot Cheetos, eat, and let's go ahead and start it. This is my this is my whole like PowerPoint that I had to run by Don and Kai first. It was so exciting. Anyways, mind you, every time I see like a every time I see like a very interesting TikTok, like a scientifically like TikTok. I'm like, hold on. And I go on a deep dive on Google and then it's 2 a.m. And I have like 20 of these in my notes. I have one about like lightning. I have I have a few, but we, we won't get into that part. Let's go ahead and run through it because you got three minutes before that camera shut off. Oh, okay. <laughs> so we're going to talk about how scientifically when you feel someone's vibe, it's good or bad. Or you can like feel it. So what is a good or vibe? Good or bad vibe? Um, let's just get into it. So your heart can pump. Let me see. Let me get in my notes. Your heart produces enough energy to power a truck for 20 miles of driving every day. So every 24 hours, your heart pumps enough blood. Do -do -do -do. You got rhythm to it. Uh, because if that rhythm's off, then you need like a pacemaker. Isn't that crazy? Anyways, so your heart pumps blood, but it's an electrical system. There's like a clump of cells in there in your heart that is electrical and it pumps it pumps um, to tell the rest of your body to be like, hey, I'm here. 
So your mm. heart emits electromagnetic waves out of your body. What are electromagnetic waves? Well, let's break it down. Electric, electrical waves, when you like get shocked by like a piece of fabric or you like rub someone's hair and the balloon comes up, like that's electricity. That's what you can see. And then what's ma magnets? What's magnetical, magnetic waves? When you hold a magnet, they pull together and when you flip them, they push apart. That's the magnetic wave. Okay. So electrical magnetic waves basically are just like, so they're called waves. So electrical waves go up and down. Let's say magnet waves go side to side. So they're just like going together and intersecting. And that's an electrical magnetic wave. And that's what your heart's pumping out. Okay. And this energy um, radiates around you in like a three feet radius. So basically like your aura, your energy, your vibe. Mm -hmm. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that makes sense though. Because whenever I used to help my dad try to do this antenna thing for him to watch the game, the more that you, your body goes towards the antenna, it'll work. And the, the further that you go away from it, the antenna's like, you know? Mm -hmm. So that makes sense. Yeah, I think it's like absolutely crazy. And then let's see what else. Hold on. I'm going to pause you for a second. You explained it on the dot for sure. Uh, your camera did shut off. So thank you for watching the Nameless Journey podcast. Uh, best podcast in my home, obviously, because we're not that big. So like, comment, and subscribe to the channel because we are ending this 30 minute mark. And also hit that bell if you want notifications when we drop a video. Use code double dono AZVA at Habits365 and get 10% off and 15% off of your purchase. And we'll catch y'all later. Go listen to the extended version if you wanna hear some more about the magnetic waves and everything that she's talking about. Deuces. Go. <laughs> Boy, it's your crazy. crazy.